And I'm selecting first. The categories are rulers, superstitions, offers, languages, religion, and art. Superstitions for 200. And right off the bat, we have a daily double. Okay, uh... We'll go for four. Stepping on this could break your mother's back. Um... I don't know, what is a chair? I don't know. Nope. A crack. Oh. Oh well. Because immigrants found no badgers in America, we watched this animal search for its shadow. What is the groundhog? What is a groundhog? And that's right. Superstitions for six. A hair trigger temper supposedly goes with this hair color. And that would be red. Superstitions for 800. After doing this, superstitious people throw some over the shoulder. Over their shoulder. With a spilling salt. Languages for 200. Predominant language in Canada's Quebec province. What is French? Languages for 400. The New Testament was originally written in coin, a common dialect of this language. Greek. Alright, um... Superstitions for a thousand. Unlucky number of cigarettes to light from a single match. Rose. Nope. So she's down to a hundred. And I am not going to answer this. Three. However, I do not smoke. Languages for six. Written in Arabic script, it's the lingua franca of East Africa. Rose. Swahili. Rulers for 400. Stuttering Roman Emperor who was the subject of a popular ABC miniseries. And that Stuttering Roman Emperor was known as... Claudius. Rulers 200. Graduating 42nd of 51 in his military class. He later became Emperor of France. Rose. 
Napoleon, and we had a clue about him in the first round. Twelve Constantines ruled this ancient empire. Byzantine Empire. Rulers 800. In 632, Abu Bakr took over to go over as the first caliph to rule after this prophet's death. Rose. Muhammad. Finishing rulers. Shakespeare's play named after this king has three parts. Uh, I would say Hamlet, but I'm not sure. Henry the Sixth. Author of 200. He based Robinson Crusoe on real life castaway Alexander Selkirk. Rose? Nope. It was... Daniel Defoe. Language is 800. Due to regional disputes, India has retained this as an official language. English. Offers for 400. You refused the 1940 Pulitzer for his play at the time of your life. William Saroyan. Offers for 600. Nathaniel West went west to write this tale of Hollywood. What is the Day of the Locust? Offers 800. He was an architect before writing Far From the Madden Crowd. Thomas Hardy. Offers 1,000. 6... 6.9MD who wrote the Andromeda Stain and the Terminal Man. Six foot nine inch. And Rose doesn't know. Putting me back in the lead. I do not know this one. Michael Crichton. Okay. Religion for a thousand. Most Japanese practice both Buddhism and this religion.
Rose? Uh, I'd say Taoism, but I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna play it safe and not ring in. Shinto. Okay. So, Taoism would have been wrong. The only romance language from East Bloc country. And the language this time? Romanian. Alright, that does it for our languages category. Where are we going to go now? Art for 200. Pope Julius II ordered him to paint the Sistine Chapel. I don't know. Michelangelo. Okay. Art for 400. The name for the Virgin Mary in many paintings. Rose. The Madonna. Rose is now at minus 500. Hmm, might I actually win this? Well, we only have a few clues left. Though not a priest or monk, he founded the Franciscan Order. St. Francis of Assisi. Art for 600. This part of an egg is combined with pigment to make tempera paint. Uh, what is the yolk? No. Wasn't fast enough, and I would have been right. It was the yolk. Religion for 600. The Muslim calendar begins when, well, from when Muhammad had to flee this city. Continent on which all the world's great religions began. What is Asia? Religion 800. America's oldest synagogue is in this state. Two clues left, and they're both in the category of art. A thousand. Rodin sculpture tribute to eggheads. Okay, and that is was the thinker. Alright, so Rose, you have to get this right. This last one right in order to be around for Final Jeopardy. Born on Crete, Domenico Fiat. Well, let's see what happens here. Coppolis was called this by the Spaniards, El Greco. So I have a $100 lead over Rose as we get ready to play Final Jeopardy. Now let's see what our category is. U.S. Presidents. I'm going to go for 200 In the 1860 election for his first term, more Americans voted against him than for him. Who was Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. 
that's Abraham Lincoln. And Rose only wagered $34. So that means I win the game and I can finally start a run. Well, only $1,000, but a win's a win, and we will see you next time.